Ukraine's history is best condensed in what the word Ukraine literally means. From the old Slavic language, it means borderland. Caught between the forces of Berlin in the west or Moscow in the east, there was scarcely been a moment of calm in Ukraine's history. Ukraine now lies conquered at the mercy of another empire's hand, subject to its cruelty and decree, yet the cycle has begun to churn out another vain imitation of Ukrainian history put on a show for the thousandth time as a ruler's crown starts to slip. Ukraine is part of the Einheits Pact. But with Hitler's old age, cracks are starting to form. Maybe one day, Ukrainians too can be free. And this time, for good. Obviously, we are playing the New Order. I've never played as Ukraine, but they do have a focus in here. We're currently under control of Erich Koch, an absolute vile piece of shit. He got appointed as the Reichskommissar of Ukraine, and in essence, his whole plan is beat up and kill everything and steal everything you can and hope for the best. Ukrainians are kind of st st uh, done with that. Despite his desire to be less involved and his clear anger at being forced to attend our administration, he is here. As such, just like years prior, we can expect problems to decisively to be decisively addressed. We'll see about that. Erich Koch lingered in his office, surrounded by the folders and maps he had not cared to examine. Outside, scattered footsteps rang out. The day was done, and Koch could leave at any moment, yet he could not help but examine a single photo on his desk, a picture of the Reichskommissar on the first day of his assignment. Where was he now? The Reichskommissar, that fateful day when a train ripped him away from his native Prussia to serve in the Rosenberg's newest colony. How hideous the land had seemed as it smeared past his cabin window, yet when his train arrived, the air was crisp and clean. Verdant fields filled with his view for a single moment. He almost felt like home. Twenty years later, the Reichskommissar remembered so little of that day. Year by year, Koch had let the world slip through his hands, and the true nature of his colony crushed him. That violent, hopeful energy was gone now, and gone forever. At the end of the day, Koch only wished he had done more. He wished he had found every Ukrainian who dared to speak, every liberal who dared to whine and rip their throats from their necks. We seem to be a very good guy. And this is destiny's favor. There we go. Who do we want to go for? Ukraine to many is the brass basket of Europe. Filled the brim with rot and mold. Bearing the fruits of fertile soil. One would expect for Ukraine to prosper under the Soviets and at least endure the Reich. Yet now, Ukraine is a graveyard. Filled with millions of dead, their dreams buried with them. The dream of a free republic crushed before it could draw its first breath. The dream of national communist communism obliterated in the storm of Barbarossa, the dream of Stepan Bandera dead just like him, the dream of national socialist rapidly decay. These dreams are dead, or are they? One will be given a second chance, a chance to shape Ukraine's destiny. Which dream will you choose? I do not want to go with the Reichskommissariat. Now you know what? We will, by all the suffering that we have endured, we have become radicalized. We will go for Bandera. With the world around us, treats us like filth, we will become the very demons they want us to be. I mean, we can develop arms or something, I don't know. We'll see. Officers, I simply can't make these new quotas. If I push my field hands any harder, they're going to start dying in the fields as they work. Then I suggest that you find some more. It's a pleasure seeing you here, Adolf. Hmm, not a big fan of the Germans. They might be the bad guys, huh? Pretty sure they also, like, have massive amounts of slavery. Leibrand held the latest draft of the letter he had been endlessly rewriting. At the header, letter of resignation. It gave him a perverse joy to consider the thought. He imagined Koch fuming uh, as his hands filled with the drudgery which Leibrand always did in his stead. Regretting ever having dismissed his vital piece of the Reichskommissariat. Okay. For Ukraine had to be saved. In appearance, Antonia van Norden was a distinctly Aryan woman. Eyes were pale blue, not striking but always pleasant. Her hair grew blonde and straight, a shining waterfall when it was not forced into a bun at the top of her head. Her limbs were long and slender, elegant and worthy. In a past life, it was a beauty that had brought her a life of her own. Before the market crashed, Antonia spun in a whirlwind of suitors and adventures, an endless party of the streets of Amsterdam. It all ended when Peter, the one man strong enough to finally pin her down. Ukraine was a new life, a quieter life. It was calmer here. She woke up, kissed her husband good morning, and began to cook a hearty breakfast. She walked into town to buy some supplies and returned in time to help with the wedding. With the wedding, she read a story to Marcus, kissed her husband good night, and crashed into her bed. Yet deep in her mind, Ukraine was destroying her. Her hair was growing faded and frizzy, her eyes beginning to sink into a web of crow's 
feet and bags, and a thin layer of muscles growing from all the time she spent in the field. She spent far too long in the bathroom staring into the mirror she could feel herself rotting before she slept each night she prayed her family could not tell i'm gonna keep like mechanizing and industrializing everything i can i don't want to exploit too much the shovel was heavier in halina's hand than she was used to she wondered to herself if it meant that she was getting older or hungrier probably both she thought buying new equipment for the farm was always a pain stealing her scan savings away from her and sending her on an unwieldy trek home, her day continued to worsen, not just from the relentless icy rain that turned the dirt road home to muck, but additionally the flock of people crowding one of the new paved roads in town. As she neared, she heard a sound that made her blood boil, a German marching tune, coupled with the malevolent growl of truck engines, the ominous grinding of tank treads, and uneasy scattered applause from the wary crowd. With no way around, she waded through the throng to the curb where she could see the rather pathetically sized parade. Four or five tanks, perhaps two platoons of men, a few outdated and rusted old trucks, and a military band that was struggling to breach the noise of the vehicles. Around her, the crowds were clapping, some with genuine intensity and others with stilted insincerity. A man behind her nudged her, encouraging her to join in. She shook her head, gesturing to the shovel. Obscenities tried to climb up her throat, so she bit her tongue. Violence crossed her mind. How satisfying it would be to let Nazi teeth lie with her shovel she couldn't do that she couldn't make danilo a widower she was all he had instead she grinned until the last man passed and walked home muttering Come. don't worry they'll be gone soon mitty in her grasp okay okay that'll definitely go well buddy don't worry he that plots sitting alone in a darkened room it only it lit only by a candle he had found someplace yaroslav semenovich stelzo hundred alone whereas stetso knew Klashkivsky might take the opportunity conferred by such a setting to succumb to intrusive thoughts about what Bandera's corpse thought of him. The pen shook in Stretsko's hand as he scribbled out the latest plans. There was something big in the man's mind, and he was very clearly eager to see it through to completion. If someone were to peer into the room, the only thing was clear. Yaroslav was plotting something big. Lots of revolution, huh? Despite himself, Bogdan was always frightened of the city. Yes, some part of him knew that these places had been built decades ago, even centuries. They were Ukrainian, same as the fields and forests he fought for every day. Yet for all his life, they had been German. Outposts of state control and settlements with German names and a German way of life. Intellectually, he knew that they that was mere fiction. In the moment, standing between swastikas and police officers, it felt horribly real. Bogdan still sometimes had to enter the city, however. Today, on the orders of his commander, he was in the heart of the Reichskommissariat, Kiev, looking to buy supplies for his fellow soldiers. Bogdan hoped that the captain's assignment didn't mean anything, given the risk of his mission. He feared that the man may have given up on him. Trust, he repeated himself. Trust. As Bogdan left, the seller asked him why he bothered with these missions. He didn't know how to respond. Bogdan mum mumbled something about liberty and slipped into the night. Don't worry, Bogdan. We will be free, goddammit, if it's the last thing we do. Some of the Germans may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. In fact, I'm pretty adamant about all of them dying. Erich Koch seemed to be happy for the first time in a long while. He's going back to Prussia. Just needs some aid to finally finish off Ukraine. But for that, he needs to be gone for a little while. Now let's just hope nothing bad happens. Huh? Three days. The man responded, he's flying back to Russia, the bastard. And on this day, Bogdan Antonenko realized he had a chance to change history. Change history we will, goddammit. Erich Koch severely injured in Kiev bombing. The second attempt on the life of a German leader this year, martial law has been declared across Reichskommissariat Ukraine following an attempt on the life of Reichskommissar Erich Koch, reportedly injured when a bomb hidden within his personal vehicle detonated as he left his home yesterday morning. The illusion shatters and the Reichskommissariat's hold on Ukraine has never been weaker. Leibrand is taken over, but not for long. We will become dissidents. The story of Ukraine is one of pain, humiliation, betrayal, and destruction. Far too long, many have claimed the mantle to reverse this, and all have been found wanting. But this has changed, and a path to victory has revealed itself. Oh, now we can... Interesting. We are the Ukrainian insurgent army, and we need to increase our control over everything. Now who's in control in here? We're not in control still. That's okay. This is just a start anyway. Ukrainian Hydra. I mean, I like the fact that the National Revolutionary Army is getting more control. But the problem is, not the National Revolutionary Army. We're getting some control here and there. 
Mostly in the west, surprisingly enough. I thought it'd be more in the east. Keep getting control. I want to, like, focus on one region mostly. The more regions we get completely under our control, the better. It's finally time. After years of rebuilding, of running, of hiding, we will do so no more. The Vosht, glorious as he has all and shall remain, has finished his visionary plan for the third struggle. All right, let's see how that goes. I think for now, I'll just focus on Wolhinian and Shitomir. That's a funny name, though. I'm going to be real with you, because we have, like... A lot of control in there. Got a decent amount in uh, Hugsdorf. But that's mostly because we kept clicking that shit. Launch more terror attacks. Now we get the choice. Which man do we go for? And I'm thinking Stetso, right? As a civilian among the UPA. Because why not? Meantime, keep clicking every button. We almost have majority control in the Volhynian. There we go. That's already a very good start for Stetso. I think yeah, all traders received their due. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Like I said, we have become radicalized. Get some more for good measure as well and then continue with the next one. So this one we should have control in. Okay, maybe one more push for uh, Stetso and then we should be fine. That should keep us in control of the three dragons. Boom, boom, boom. And we're so close to the majority in this region as well. That should hopefully be enough. Yes, we go. Have a, we have a majority in two regions and one region that does not have the ss majority these ones still do so we'll focus mostly on that oh, more civilian stuff please yeah there you go just to finish it off wait we lost control in here somehow okay damn it i guess we'll have to reclaim that oh and we did or uh, no it's it's the ukrainian red army that some stuff back from uh the fascists i prefer the one infantry over the two militias i think although no actually never mind i think the front line will be very porous anyway so it would be for the best. How long is Hitler gonna survive? He's been alive for like 5 billion years at this point. Let's do it one more time. I kinda am curious to see if it all just disappears eventually. Oh, what the hell? For a second there, this was just blank. Yeah, it is blank. I have 100% influence. I think it's not. It's time for me to stop with that. They will not be able to catch up. Even if I help them, I think. Oh, cells from Poland are coming to help. That's good. Wait, for Ukraine to be free. Step on murdered. I mean, I don't think it's that step on Bandera, but it's nice to pretend, you know? We dabble in a bit of delusion on this channel. Take Kiev. Oh, we're so close to taking Kiev, too. Maybe, like, one more cycle. Although, I might not have enough CP anymore. I've pretty much given up on development. I'm just uh, bombing development. I'm just focusing completely on resistance instead. Because that's also... It costs some CP. Not much, but some. So, I might as well just focus all of it on resistance. Does Moscovian also have a focus tree? No, they don't. Only Ukraine. And now Odessa operatives, join me, please. There we go. Click both of these. But that Ukraine should be pretty much guaranteed freedom. I'm hoping. We got three regions out of six completely under our control, of which the capital region nearing the end. I kind of want to get like at least one more region under our control somehow, but it might be a bit difficult. Two focuses away from the end. Ooh. Oh, Adolf Hitler has died. We are close to collapse. And there's the civil war. I hope I can at least press the decisions for control a couple more times. I'm, I'm close to getting this region under control as well. I've been saving up points hard. Everything else is largely under my control. There we go, another one. Oh, the breadbasket mechanic has been disabled. Check one more time. Yeah, that's okay. We've done pretty much everything we can. The Donbass Blitz. At first, the administrators in Kiev thought it was a temporary communications outage. Infrastructure as a whole across Ukraine was deplorable, and telephone lines were always cut by the partisans and then replaced in turn. Then, the first motorcycle riders. Frantic when energy reached the city. He spoke of a general uprising, a far larger than any possible bandit attack that was overwhelming the entire Donbass region. Then other reports arrived of massive revolts, attacks and ambushes everywhere in Ukraine, of units being overrun or simply never reporting at all. All the administrators knew that the bandits would, uh, what the bandits would do to them, knew they had to get out and efforts at the response were thus further weakened by internal dysfunction. The storm was coming, it was clear. And as the picture became more dire, pleas for assistance traveled westwards, but no assistance will arrive. The Belarus is breaking free, Poland broke free. Come on, my dudes. I wanna see Ukraine burn one more time. Ostland has fallen pretty much our turn let's go war has finally come oh poland actually won perfect hope stashed people of ukraine it is time to rise up like the gamers we are the reds have done it and i'm pretty sure i get this whole region the civil war has begun wait that's it i would have thought we would get more why is it so little oh, there we go four more units 
but uh, how are we gonna cross? We're kind of stuck. Could I get access, Poland? No, they don't like me, in fact. We have no factories. Wait, we can infantry and artillery equipment is not even invented? What do you mean? Oh, thank you. I got scared for a little while there. Start with infantry equipment and maybe some anti-tank. And then if we ever get more, artillery and anti-air. Or support equipment. Yeah, well, I'll start with support equipment. I don't know what to do with these units. They're kind of stuck. I cannot transfer them over as far as I can tell. One bitter harvest as the situation in Ukraine worsens. Food has become scarce as fields are burned and traditional supply chains are cut off in the chaos of war. Our soldiers must forage the land for their food. Take it from the locals in whatever small territory that we might command. Oh, it's the Republic of Ukraine in here. Okay, good for them, I think. But I want all of Ukraine. Oh, there we go. This, the war has popped off. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? In fact, I might have to slow down time. We're in a precarious position, actually. I don't know how we can break through. Can I just not make one? I cannot just make one. God damn it. I'll have to move manually for the time being. Can I now make it? Yeah, good. I can actually make a full line. Oh, what? This whole spiel is empty, though. Let's see for supply hubs. I need to get in here. That'll be a good start. We need to somehow break through. Out of this tile, we have to retreat, though. Sad as this to say. We cannot hold this, at least not for the time being. Actually, their capital is free. I'd like to take it. Oh, now Moscovian. God damn. What the hell? Let's get demons in the thicket. Let's go. I set to seize power with that. Oh, damn it. They encircled one of my troops. And actually, I think that we lost one of them, too. Come on, encircle this troop, please. I think we're, for now, we're semi-stabilized. I don't think for long, but still. Maybe if we see Spinsk. Oh, yeah. We outmaneuvered them. Please take Prestatovsk. That should be enough, right? It's 10 points. Keep the truck in here. Yeah. Until we have our reinforcements standing. Perfect. Get him out of Kobrin, please. Thank you. But don't let them recover for too much. Come on, it's the final guy in here. We, we gotta be able to crush him. No, he just took another tile. This could be, this could present me a great opportunity to encircle one more guy. They seem to be a bit overextended. Damn it. I would have loved to get that in, but alas. Oh, there we go. I think, yeah, we're finally pushing them back. This might just be enough. Ooh, beautiful. Keep pushing him in. We're actually maybe in here because that's actually uh, a VP. Move in. Move in move in shit seems empty these days you might have an opportunity yeah we're actually pushing him almost everywhere i just come see that is gonna fall god damn it if it's the last thing i do we're also inching closer to kiev so that's good what they're they're running away out of their own territory dude hell yeah in that case i'll take it <laughs> we're pushing in okay okay it looked a bit harrowing at first but we are also halfway down our supply line so it could be a bit better if we're being honest do i have any equipment that i can maybe like make two units but just barely i think i need them where's this oh we're so close i want i want that supply hub god damn it look at that i'm so close to kiev too i think this is it the ukrainians in here wait what how the hell did that happen if it's gonna be like that we have to move in further and further before they move their troops a bit too quickly gotta i gotta see some supplies it's done in that case be aggressive move did you not hear me move before too many of the reds arrive. They're, they're already here. God damn it. I told... Do, do, are you incapable of listening, you fucking asshole? Why aren't you moving there? Yeah, they don't wanna. What the hell? Some of my troops. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. You know what? I'm, uh, I'm saving and I'm reloading. Okay, that's weird. Up up north, we can do it. But in here? Oh, no, never mind. Now, it, now it's working, I think. Oh, great. You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll load up the auto save instead. What an annoying little thing. Is it supply issues or something? Oh, there we go. This one's over. But now I'll just manually move in. Hopefully it'll actually work out. See, again, what the hell is going on? We need at least 100,000 organization to fight? Huh? Not in here, though. Not in here either. Okay, so some of them... Okay, what the hell? I don't know what that means. I guess it was a temporary thing, but still that pisses me off. We're losing time. Time that's very important to us in reclaiming our rightful land. Please take Kiev already. Why are you taking so long to take that goddamn tile? Almost out of some. How are they looking? Can I see that? Like we're holding Kiev. I kind of like that. <sighs> we're all out of supplies. What happens then? I feel loose supplies. We got more troops than they do these days. So that's good. They're around Chernihiv. Let's see if I can encircle them too. Right? So far, we've done like over 13 to 1 casualty rates, which is incredible. There we go. Crushed them. Oh, perfect. 29 units. That's pretty much their max. I don't think they have that many. I don't want to encircle this guy. Please take that tile. They're going something like this. Nah, doesn't work, sadly. How about in here? That should do it, right? I think so. They're trying to escape. I'm not going to let them. Ah, never mind. I can't encircle them at the moment. I'll just push them back then. Oh, they're almost dead. Oh, once you're out of supplies, you lose a massive massive amount of uh, surrender limit that's how they killed the commissariat i'm guessing so honestly I, I just need to push a little further there we go it wasn't even that much further 
And so the Ukrainian state rises up once more. The Ukrainian state, a nation born of the remnants of Stepan Bandera's organization of Ukrainian nationalists, has completely upended the 20 year status quo of Ukraine. Their leader, Klachevsky, although I'm pretty sure Stetsko is gonna take over soon. A staunch adherent of Bandera's ultra nationalism has shown a clear desire to create a Ukrainian free of any parasites. Already, German settlers, settler families, and other minorities swarm to the borders hoping to flee Ukraine before reprisals begin. Ah, perfect. Oh, and now we march on Uk uh, on um, Crimea too. Reich Gau, Reich's Gau, Gotland. Tell us that even mean. We are kind of surrounded by enemies though. That pretty much sucks. We just straight up go to war apparently. There you go. Move in boys. Theodor's Hafen will be retaken. Oh, perfect. We got all Ukrainian lands. Oh, what is? Victory, total and unquestionable. For the first time in many, many years, Ukraine is free of communists, of Germans, of all those who see it shackled, oppressed and trampled underfoot. Ukraine stands triumphant over its foes and stands even stronger as a free nation for the Ukrainian people. The victory was a near eternity in the making and though Bandera is not here to see it, surely he smiles down from the heavens upon us and upon the fulfillment of our and his lifelong dream we will have to also reintegrate it i think or not no of course no need to reintegrate it all of them had been wrong all of them had doubted him all of them lacked ambition drive and true patriotism only he dimitro klachivsky oh, although didn't we have this motherfucker take over oh, whatever his march through sevastopol would be remembered just as scipio's triumph the streets of the city lay in ruins. Rubble stood where once the Teutonic monoliths had clouded the skies. We won. Only a few years ago, we thought this day would never come. I suppose, you suppose? There are still Germans here and in the countryside. We haven't cleared all of the garrisons yet and the Tatars aren't pleased. I have already heard reports of insurrections in the Yalu. And they shall be crushed. They have nothing here anymore. Their estates will be parceled out. Some of the soldiers have already brought their families and the Tatars can be bought off with some of them as well. The garrisons will wither. You worry too much. They know not of victory, even when standing amidst it. Damn his lack of sense, Stetsto sputtered as he stumbled around his office. His lack of restraints will certainly get us all killed. If the Vosht is going to act like a rabid animal, then he should be put down, which is precisely why I've summoned both of you. And what would you have me do? Monitor our dear Vosht. I trust you know what to do when the opportunity arises. And thus, Mephisto began his waltz. Interesting. Oh, and even Belarus is winning. I like that. I hope they keep it up. I don't know if I can support them. I don't really have much of an industry to speak of, but yeah, we, we have no reason to involve ourselves, sadly. You know what? I'll just click the button of reintegrating Crimea just because I can. And there we go. Klachevsky dies and we take over. Well, we will soon take over. An intuitive contingency. Yaroslav Stetsko becomes the leader of the National Socialism Party. And there we go. We've made it happen. Malignancy brews. Uh-oh. As three has become one, Ukraine must now balance the ideals of the Ukrainian revolution and collaboration. We're not yet done. We declare war on Poland? Interesting. Okay, I, I did lose most of my generals though. That kind of sucks. But you know, that's, that's just purges. Purges be like that sometimes. New men take their place. Of course, they're... Largely incompetent compared to the old veterans, but hopefully they'll prove themselves. Pro German sentiment, though, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm hoping they'll at least like let us live then. I mean, I hold, hold their court. You don't have any cores in here, do you? Apparently, Crimea has a core territory of uh, Germans. Never knew that. They might just be full of shit, but you know, what else is new? Oh, another one. Yeah, damn, we'll keep purging everything. At least we get something cool, like death squads now. Look at that. Definitely gonna be. A great place to live, Ukraine, after I'm done with it. Not at all an absolute shithole of death and uh, pain and misery. Ukraine was no longer safe for Russians. It's barely safe for Ukrainians, I'd say. Oh no, they're fighting against Poland now. So I don't know if I'll make it in time to declare war on them. Kind of hope I do. But the way I'm looking at it, it is doubtful. Even the, the Slovak Republic is like pushing in. Yeah, it's too late, sadly. Our bloodlands. I'll, I'll take the, the focus. Oh, we declare on the Granada. Wait, 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 wait. Do not, do not, do not. And do not do this. How am I supposed to do this? Surrounded by enemies. You know what? I'll just save. I just want to see it happen. But it might just literally be impossible for me to make happen. Well, I should also get a bunch of units out, huh? Yeah, we're getting kind of like surrounded on literally every side. I'm going to see. I'm just going to spend recklessly on our military. Next month, I'll try and declare a war. See what happens. I'm going to put him on this front line. 
I'm gonna put you on the front line with the general government. Fuck it, we ballin'. Just see what happens, eh? I'm curious mostly, because I don't think I can take on the whole thing. Stetsko stood before the legions of uniformed soldiers, thousands who had been assembled during a cool Ukrainian moment, morning. The first ray of the sun began to spread behind him as he appraised over his army with pride and euphoria. No more will we allow our cities and lands of Ukrainian history and beauty to be held by foreign thieves. No more will our people, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, remain under Polish domination. Oh, well, let's go, I guess. Just want to see this happen. I mean, we are pushing in, but for the time being, I think we're mostly stalemated already. Yep. Let's see? Mm, not very doable. I want to just annex them also, just to see what it looks like. There go. I annex them, and now I should see what happens. There you go. Let the dogs loose. It's the same event as before, but we've won, right? Now what? Surely we should get an event after, like, the victory, quote-unquote, on, uh, on the Ukrainians, uh, on the Polish. No? I guess not. No, well, that is pretty much it for this campaign, though. So, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hopefully, I'll see you next time, and hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.